Good morning, good morning. Guess what, guess what? We've got boxes, boxes, boxes. Yay for yarn, yay for yarn. Okay, so we've got boxes. We are gonna do some unboxings today. I went to the post office yesterday and boy, did we get some happy mail. This one I'm super excited about. Actually, I'm super excited about all of them. Haven't looked at anything yet. Um, I did get rid of all the tape and everything so we can just easily get into these things. Ooh, should we start with this one? Mm. Okay, let's start with this one. No, let's start with one of the other ones. I'm really excited about this. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. This came from Annie's. Um, and no, I'm not buying more yarn. All of these things were purchased before I put myself on the yarn freeze. So this is stuff that I ordered at some time in December and they are just now getting here. Okay, so let's see what we have from Annie's. Box open. Ooh, that's a nice little bubble wrap. All right, what do we have here? Okay, I bought this cute little hummingbird, can you see it? Hummingbird needle threader. I've not used this before. It's got, it had really good reviews and um, I do a lot of cross stitch. And so I'm threading a lot of needles and I'm finding it harder and harder. Um, if you saw my recent video on the, un on the finished objects, you'll saw that beaded project that I did Boy, I had a heck of a time with that thing because I couldn't even get the needle threader through the eye of that needle. It was so small. So I thought I'd give this a try. Hummingbird needle threader. If any of you guys have used this, um, let me know. Let me know how you thought it went. How much did I pay for this? Not very much. $3.99. And then I found something called Nifty Needles. Um, these are tapestry needles, so it's for my cross stitch, and they're supposed to be easier to use, and I can't even remember why. I get to looking at that cool stuff in the magazines, and I think I have to have that. But I'm trying to remember. It had something to do with the way the needle was made. Oh, I remember now, it's flexible. It's flexible. So once you, Nope, can't even figure out how to open the thing. No, nope, I'm gonna play with that. But um, you can, see, I don't know if you can see that. Is that focusing? The top part, this is the eye and it's got a really long eye. So it's gonna be easier to get the thread in there. And then the needle itself is flexible for using in the product. So we'll see how that works. These were, $3.79 and there's 20 of them. So that's a really good price for a good quality needle. Boy, the eye in that thing is really big. That's gonna make it a lot easier to use. So we'll set those two things aside so I don't lose them. And then of course you get all the little ads and things, which I'll look at that later. But the big exciting thing in this batch of yarn, of this box is yarn. Uh, this is the basics. I like the Premier Basics Marl. It's called Marl. So it's got the mixture of colors in there. And this is gray with some white, and then gray, and then gray with the black. And I got six skeins of this. Pretty small order for me, huh? Six skeins. Uh, so it's a four weight yarn, 245 yards, 224 meters. 140 gram ball, 100% acrylic, and monochrome marl is what this is called. I actually have a, pro a project for this. That's unusual for me too, huh? So um, there's a gal on YouTube. She's got a really nice channel and it's called My Precious Yarnery. And Angela is the gal she's amazing she's so funny she does such great stuff she does a lot of yarn yarn reviews and um she does a lot of her own um tutorials on 
different things that she's she's made up herself and she has just done a tutorial on a sweater and it's just called the sweater tutorial it's her own design it looks like it's gonna be very easy and it's based on um, measurements not specifically sizes so I think you could use pretty much whatever yarn you wanted because I know to start with you just do a, a chain however long you want this sweater to be so that's why I'm hoping that this will work out uh, I like I like monochrome basic kind of colors for sweaters so I could wear them with everything I wear sweaters all the time even down here in Texas I wear sweaters a lot so real excited about real excited about this particular project I'm gonna make me a sweater and I think it's gonna work up very quickly so that's my first unboxing I got this yarn for $2.79 a skein $2.79 so this entire sweater is gonna cost me less than 16 bucks because I know I won't use all of it okay let's see what's in this giant box this is a giant box. Can you see how giant this box is? This is a giant box. I could get, barely carry the thing in there. So let's get opened up what we have. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so anybody who crochets or knits or makes a lot of crafty things knows that it doesn't take long for your family members to get real tired of you giving them stuff. Um, I, as a rule, I make a lot of blankets and nobody's interested in any more of my blankets the other day my grandson asked me if I would make him a sweater I was over the moon with excitement so I knew that this yarn was on sale and I needed him to pick a color and so this is what we decided on this is Woolies Lion Brand yarn Woolies one of my favorite yarns to work with it's just it's very it's soft it's durable it's easy care and it just looks glorious when it's worked up. So this is the Woolies uh, four weight, 80% acrylic, 20% wool, machine wash and dryable, which you know that's necessary, made in Turkey. I like yarn that's made in Turkey. It tends to have a, a much nicer feel than things, especially things that come from China. This is called Forest Green Heather. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I'm gonna be starting this project very, very soon. Oh, ooh, that is so pretty. That's a pretty close, yeah. This is, this is nice. This is a nice green. It says a four weight. It's a, it's a really nice four. I am going to be making uh, the sweater from Bag of Day, B-O-D. It's, She's only got a couple of men's items and it's a men's pullover sweater. When I'm making it and I have the actual pattern in front of me, I'll, I'll give you the name of it. So this, this is probably gonna be my next project because I promised him getting this done. Okay, why is this box so big? I wasn't sure how much yarn I was gonna need. And usually when I buy yarn, Usually when I buy yarn, I buy 10, 10, 12, or 15, depending on how many yards are in it. Because you just never know how much yarn that project is gonna take. I'm seeing nine here, which surprises me. I thought I would have got more than that, but maybe not. Because 200 yards, 1,800, okay. So we'll see, but what else is in this box? Like I said, this yarn was on sale. So I ordered it in the blue. Gee, that's pretty too. Same, same yarn. Three, six of those. Ooh, I guess we ordered it in the gray. This is Oxford gray. The blue is Olympic. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, this is what's going on. I thought that looked different. Okay, this is the Woolies. This is gray. 
and more gray. And more gray, more gray. So nine of those. And we got it in Blanc. It's kind of a cream, creamy white. I can't find the exact. Oh, it's so hard to find anything. Fisherman. Oh, this is the fisherman. I like the fisherman color. Fisherman. Ah, I knew I got 10. Fisherman, gray, green. I knew I got 10. And more of the fisherman. Yes, more of the fisherman. And more of the fisherman. And the reason I got all that with the Woolies was because it was on sale for $1.99 a skein. Anybody that buys this knows that six bucks a skein is not unusual. So we got a bunch. And when I was talking to him, we were trying to decide what color he wanted. And I have had this happen to me so many times. I'm looking at colors, I'm looking at colors, and by the time I make up my mind, they're sold out. So basically, I ordered enough of each of the colors that they had available, because they only had um, the three colors available when I was buying them. So no matter which color he picked, I had enough to make that sweater. And it'll be no problem to use up those other ones. Woolies is my, one of my very favorite yarns. Okay, so then what else did I end up getting in here? Okay, the Olympic, that pretty blue, which we put over here. Nope, it's over here. This is the Lion brand, what is it? Heartland the thick and quick. So many patterns call for the thick yarns and I never have any. So I grabbed a little bit of this. I hope this is enough to do what I'm thinking. Um, this is a super bulky six. It's pretty thick. Uh, I don't, I haven't worked for six months, so I'm not exactly sure what it should look like. Um, this is five ounces, 125 yards. And I have three, that's six of them. So should be able to do something pretty significant with that. And 100% acrylic, machine wash and dry. Good, again, easy care. And it says, I can't read that. What size hook it is? In, maybe? <laughs> so anyway, we got these on sale for $2.99 a yard, or a yard, $2.99 a skein. And as you guys know, these thick yarns can be very expensive so that was a super super good deal as well and let's see what this is oh the date night i love this yarn it's called date night i don't know if you can see it's got some sparklies in there really really faint sparklies there there you can see it a little bit this one is called Dolomite. I have a pattern called Date Night, and I cannot remember the gal's name, Jeannie. Can't remember her channel. I'll put it down below. Um, but she creates her own patterns. Beautiful, beautiful patterns. Lots and lots of sweaters. And again, they're sweaters where you can, it's all based on measurements. So they're going to fit you. This is a four weight. 100 grams, 273 yards. It is 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. And I specifically got this to make that date night sweater. I had wanted one of the, that a real pretty blue and a real pretty green. But again, by the time I got it in my cart, it was sold out. So I got five of these and they were $2.99. And I know these were over $6 because I bought the same thing in a real pretty red and paid a lot more. And, and, well wait, there's, I 
wondered what this was because I didn't remember buying this. This is a tote bag that they gave me for free for purchasing. Oh yeah, so it's exactly like the blue one that I already have, just a different um, color fabric. I like this, it's a quilted bag. So this all came from Mary Maxim. I do like Mary Maxim's yarns, or their sales are quite good. And all the rest of this box is stuffing and filling. So I'll be able to take that out and get all of this yarn put in there. So very, very pleased with these purchases. And now I can start on my grandson's winky. Okay. Where's that pretty blue box? Pretty blue box. Where did he put it? Where did he put it? I didn't go in there. This is my life, people. Got it, it fell down in the Annie's box. So now we have our yay for yarn. I don't buy a lot of subscription boxes. In fact, I don't buy any subscription boxes. This is the first one that I've gotten. I do subscribe to um, the Annie's and Mary Maxim's Crochet the Month thing. I find them to be much more inexpensive than, than all these subscription yarn boxes are. However, this came up on a sale and I have heard nothing but good about this company and this brand. Um, they're supposed to be very high quality. They tend to run in the neighborhood of $40 a month. I'm, I, there's no way I could afford that. But this was on sale. This was their November box. And in fact, I just saw it online yesterday. They still had some in there. And this was half off. So this box was $20 plus shipping and stuff. Um, beautiful box, basic cardboard box. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's open it up. All right. I've never had one of these before, so this is exciting for me. Pretty, pretty. November box. Yay yarn, mosaic cowls. Ooh, I don't do mosaic. Box number 43 doesn't look too horrible maybe I can figure this out this is the oh that's the knit well you know I'm not doing that not doing that this is the crochet that's pretty I have done one mosaic hat it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad it had good instructions um, maybe I can figure this out maybe I can figure this out so that's the instructions. <gasps> this yarn is beautiful. Oh, look at this. This is called Cascade Yarns. I know Cascade makes good yarns. Um, Lana Grande. Lana Grande. 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Ooh. 100 grams, 87 yards. Uh, made in Peru. I don't know what those instructions mean. I think that means hand wash, and I know that means lay flat to dry. But if you're making a cowl or something like that, a hat, you're not washing it that often, so that won't be too bad. This is the color blue corn. That is so pretty. It's not quite, it might be just a touch darker. I know, that's pretty good. That's pretty close to what it looks like. And then the same exact yarn in the color raspberry cobbler oh isn't that beautiful just beautiful look at those two together that is so pretty mm -hmm. so so pretty and what else do you have in here that's the other thing with these fancier boxes they always not always they usually put um some other different products in there and that's the other thing when i buy one of my yarn crochet of the month or whatever I get yarn and I get instructions and 
because of where I am, I don't need a bunch of little doodads. So that's the other reason I probably would not purchase this kind of thing on a regular basis. This is, oh, it's a card. I think it's a Christmas card. It's pretty. <laughs> and then this says wax and wool. I don't know what it is. Small batch hand poured soy candle, cranberry orange. That smells wonderful. Okay, here's a problem. I don't do well in the motorhome with candles. It's too confined of a space. And with the monster dogs in here, things get tipped over and knocked over. So I can't do a candle. And Mr. is allergic to scent. Almost everything. This, If this is natural, I might get away with it. But if it's any kind of manufactured scent, then he absolutely cannot do it. Um, we can't have candles or air freshener or perfumes or, you know, the laundry soap has to be unscented. So these kind of things I don't get to have around my home. But this is a very nice product, which I can see. Oh, that smells good. Doesn't, I would not think cranberry orange, but it smells very good. But anyway, I can definitely see this as a giftable for someone. This is a very nice product. Again, this is not something that I would want to necessarily purchase in a yarn box, but it is lovely. So, 20 bucks, absolutely worth it. Absolutely no question. 40, mm, Maybe, you know, this is good yarn, 100% Peruvian Highland wool. I can't imagine that that is inexpensive. Um, likelihood of making this cowl, honestly, the amount of time, well, I don't know, I can't say. I will definitely make something. I definitely want to use this. Um, and I may make a cowl, it may not be this pattern. I don't know if I want to fuss with doing um, a mosaic, but I might. You never know. So anyway, that's the fancy box. That's the fancy yarn yay box. I really do like this. I don't know that I would buy this. I know I wouldn't buy this at the regular price. I'm not saying it isn't worth it. I think it's definitely worth it. It's just not in my budget. And I have got so many projects already. But I will be on the lookout for more to see if they have reduced price once again. Yarn Yay. You can find this online easily. Just look up Yarn Yay. So that's it for this unboxing. I do have a few more things coming that I ordered. Um, that it just takes forever for me to get my mail. And now I have to find a place to put all this. That's going to be the problem. Luckily, once I get rid of the stuffing in here, I, it will all fit in this box. And I know where I can put this box. But I'm also going to start today working on that sweater for my grandson. So that'll be pretty, pretty, pretty. Is that this one? Wool ease. Pretty green. That's a nice color for a guy, right? Is that pretty green? Okay, that's it for now. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Be watching for finish it Friday and I am going to keep doing unboxings and I'll also keep doing the um, oh my gosh my mind just went blank the gate guarding videos and keep you up to date on what's happening with that talk to you later bye bye